Hello traders, this is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. Guys, I'm so glad you can be here with me. I thought about making this video a little bit earlier and I thought, oh, this is too simple a method. Everybody knows this and I should just um, leave this video off. But um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. It's a very simple and easy trading method. It's one that takes quite a bit of time, but um, it is one that's pretty sound and pretty reliable. I usually find this during the Asian session. And it is a range bound swinging market. Now, if you have time to wait this price action out, then what you'll find is you usually get a pretty consistent profit once you figure out where you have your area of resistance and the area of support. Now you can see I put a sell in up here and the reason I did that overall we're bearish but we broke through this resistance this was another area of trend line resistance so we broke through this 200 period SMA and we've just been swinging back and forth. Now it's time to go back long. Why Why my uh, take profit did not hit, I'm not sure, but I'll probably end up having to get out of this market with a small profit. Now, this is the thing, you don't get a whole lot of pips this way. You're looking at mm, anywhere from about 10 to seven pips, give or take and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes between hitting your resistance and hitting your support overall but it is a way to make some good pips at night if you don't have a whole lot to do so you can see where my stop loss has been moved to I'm still in profit but now it's a more tiny profit since it went through my uh, my take profit level and did not hit so I guess it was probably a fraction of a pip off but I just wanted to show you this method if you find yourself in a market like this where you have an established resistance area and this is pretty much the area here and you have an established area of support and of course this is a perfect let me make that's a little bit better that is the area of resistance and the area of support down here so um, just wanted to show you that if you get up here to the area of resistance you find that you're getting reje a rejection it's time to short if you get down here at the bottom and you get a bounce it's time to go long guys I just want to remind you that you can absolutely do this you can be successful at Forex have a terrific trading week